Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Mbagza Tags, Tag Made Simple. This is Mbags going in. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you um, how to uh, how to code an ATM, how to build up an, an ATM system uh, using C++ classes. Um, um, since you know that classes are written up here, you write class a class here, and then you're going to call the code or do whatever with the code in uh, in the main function. So uh, let me start with the class. As you know, the uh, type identifier of class is class, and then I'll write my class name, which is ATM, and then from ATM. You know we'll have to open the curly brackets go down and then come here close with semicolon and then we start operating with our class so in my class i want everything to be public hence i'm using public uh public time colon then um let me start with my public variables let me say so um uh, so um i will have so some of the variables i will create them uh, now but then some of them i'll create them along the way so we're going um this is how i write my c++ code so now i will go to i will i must have a string uh name yeah, let me just write names uh semicolon so this is just for so that uh on the atm the atm must know who whom is it dealing with uh who's the person who's currently operating with that atm at that time so it's going to be string names and then i will have uh, uh let me say double double available balance and then i will have an int it's an integer you know what it is uh this is going to be the account number because you know account number is just integers and then uh, uh let me go to writing the functions now now as you know in classes we can have functions inside classes inside of that class they are member functions so they they are the ones that do all the operations inside of them you will have to do all the operations and then you you will have to call them uh this is uh the main purpose of using classes of using a class in c++ uh, you must group your functions in one class so that uh, all those functions can be able to use the same variables i don't know if you do get me very well uh, but then you will see as you are going on so i will have my first member function void the type identifier will be void so that it doesn't return anything for now um void let me have display info let me just write this in and then i will have the curly brackets and then inside of the curly brackets that way that's where we have to write our code so displaying the info uh i shouldn't have started with this one but okay it's fine let me not start with this one let me start with um creating account open account let me name it open account um this is a member function called open account so we are going to have uh see out this is just for printing the user uh write your um, you write your surname only yes it's surname only and then we're also going to have c in obvious uh which is going to contain names so uh let's have the let, let, let's make the system to generate generate uh an account number for the user so if i want the system to automatically generate um an account number for the user um it will have to be it's kind of complicated but not really so um, let's not complicate things and make it simple let me make it simple very simple for you so i'm just going to use um randomize so um, i'm not sure if randomizing will work without this library but then let me include this library 
hash include um, it's time dot h it's a library that's going to contain uh, what i'm going to be doing right now so uh we will have s rand uh and then these brackets another brackets and then we'll have time here and then what did i do we'll have zero and then we will have uh account number uh icc number so we are going to have um account number is equal to rand which simply means random uh which the account number is going to be randomized so obviously the account number is equal to rand rand is going to randomize uh so this i'm not really sure what it means i don't want to lie to you um i think i'll explain it uh, some other time uh, you can also go and research it but then it has something to do with seeding time uh, something like that so let's pass it let's not waste time on it but then you will see what the code does you will see what this part does it's just going to generate numbers it's just going to generate numbers a lot of numbers so those are, those are going to be the current account number so now we'll have um the account has been opened so you only need to write your same name uh, names and then it will give you an account number automatically and then uh, it will ask you obviously when you are opening an account you will have to deposit some money money so how much are you uh -uh. let me see how much is your deposit and then um, you will write your deposit see in so obviously we're going to have um variable for deposit so let me name it deep amount deposit amount so we'll close it and then we must we must take the same variable that we just created uh copy it and then come and uh, declare it you can even declare it uh okay wait let me write it here first i'll explain copy paste okay Deb amount also it has to be double because it's going to be it's going to contain commas and whatever sometimes so i was saying you can also create another double here and also uh, declare it there uh, but you cannot declare this deposit amount inside of this member function because once you declare it in here inside the member function you are simply saying that this variable will only be used inside of this member function and only inside of it so if it's here we have these three variables i mean these uh, variables and um, all these four variables they are going to be used by this member function also the other member functions that are coming and uh, yes you do get me so here after inputting the deposit amount we can have the available we come and manipulate available amount what they name it available balance manipulate it available balance equals equal to so i think i've talked about this way of writing code available balance is equal to available balance plus um, the deposit amount because obviously when you are depositing here it's it's good uh, it's this available balance is going to start at zero so we can uh, have it like available balance equal to zero here that's why i was saying this thing we can come declare it here yes let me take it no let me just do this let me just try to double and then 
down thanks okay so we can have this available balance as zero available balance now is going to be available balance which is zero plus the deposit amount which the deposit amount is going to be inputted here which is an int uh, uh, i double i mean so available balance is equal to uh, available balance this simply means that available balance is equal to available balance plus deposit amount you can write it this way there are a lot of ways of writing it um so we can leave this member function come to another member function let's let me not waste time let me explain these other ones very fast um so there's no even need to come and write so just to not waste any time let me i had already written this code uh, i can see if i explain it one by one it's going to take time let me uh take and like let me just come and copy this code uh from here to here before the int main and then uh this will do us just this it's just the same code but then this, uh i have other, other other member functions on that code so paste things i was stream everything as you can see so this is my now here you can see uh, i have variable full names account number available deposit amount withdrawal amount open account uh, same thing enter sending in what what full names as time account number is equal to random available equal to zero uh, this is just opening account available amount is equal to zero here so i didn't ask for depositing here so here you can display in for name and initials um this is a, a, an, another member function as you can see uh, it's another member function the member function just has c out uh, name and initials full names this is just for display it's displaying the the the, the info as you can see it's just see out see out see out output 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 um account number and then it outputs account number available balance it outputs the available balance so um uh, there's another member function void deposit it's going to see out how much is your deposit deposit amount uh, you see in the deposit amount and then after it will uh, manipulate the available amount as you can see it's the same thing available uh, amount plus is equal to deposit amount which is the same as available amount is uh, is equal to available amount plus deposit amount and then we have another member function which can withdraw we can withdraw in this member function uh see out how much is your is your withdrawal uh see in withdrawal amount as you as you saw here there's another variable withdrawal amount and then this it will also have to manipulate the available balance now because we are withdrawing available amount will have to be available amount minus withdrawal amount as you can see available amount minus is equal to withdrawal amount this simply means the same thing as i explained with the addition sign um so now let me come here this is the interesting part uh this is where all the hard code is done but then this is the interesting part how do i output this because now you can just run this no error nothing but then you can't do anything output i mean run nothing so how do i output those things so uh, if you checked the the previous class the previous session of class i told you that you have to name objects and objects you will have to uh, give your objects the data type of the of your class name the data type of your object is your class name so we will have atm simply because our class is atm and then we will have an object object i can say operate yes let me just say operate uh, so how do i output those things i can't just say operate how do i output them so we have to call them this is how we call uh member functions of a class in the main function so this is how you do it you say operate which is your object operate dot as you can see it's even suggesting dot what do you want to do now 
let me check let me check i want to open an account uh, dot open i think it's capital letter o open it's even suggesting account and then semicolon you come you build you run and then enter your surname and initials as you can see in the um, what do you call this in the open account it's enter your surname and initials first and then i will enter let me just enter bugs um and then after it uh, returns nothing because it's just enter your surname and initials and then there's nothing else uh, yes just it just gave you an account number but there's nothing you can do with it now so let me show you how to continue working with the code you can open an account and then come call another one operate dot which other is there uh, you can deposit first before going anywhere deposit and then operate again you can do what now uh you can withdraw yes um and then operate dot what can you do you can display the info now since you are done with everything display info and then semicolon and then we build no error thanks we run enter your surname blah 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 mugs and then how much is your deposit my deposit is 500 how much is your withdrawal my withdrawal is mm, let me say 300 meaning i'm left with 200 so you can see everything surname and initials it's bugs account number blah 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 it generated an account number for me available balance now it's 200 because i withdrawed um 300 same time so there you go i've showed you how to create an a simple atm uh, uh, using classes in c++ uh, thanks very much for tuning in please subscribe like comment and stay tuned thanks